This is Bill Apter, and this is my take on the dark side of the ring on Vice TV, and I really like the series. And I've known so many of the people, and I've reached out to the producers of the show to try and uh, give some of my opinions and my insight, but they haven't gotten back to me. So this is my side of the dark side, her Abrams. I was actually the first person to get Herb Abrams any contact in pro wrestling. It was in the very early 70s. I was walking around doing publicity shots for Inside Wrestling magazine in Times Square. And superstar Billy Graham and I were looking for some great places, great places to uh, shoot pictures. And we saw right on about 43rd and Broadway, there was a garbage can. And I said to him, why don't you take your shirt off and get on top of the garbage can? We're going to draw a crowd. He was wrestling at Madison Square Garden that night and pose on top of the garbage can. I really didn't think he was going to go for it, but he did. Here's the picture. So while I was posing him and he came down from the garbage can onto 43rd Street. There was a huge crowd there. And as the crowd was breaking up and I was trying to get Billy to walk with me down to the garden, this guy came over, tapped me on the back, and he says, uh, aren't you Bill After? And I say, I am. He said, my name's Herb Abrams. How you doing? He says, I'm trying to get into the wrestling business. I said, oh, well, well, what do you do? And he walked with Graham and I down toward the garden. And he told me that he's looking to maybe get some wrestlers to come to his dress shop in Flushing. I believe it was uh, right off Main Street in Flushing, Queens. And he said, uh, listen, I'll take care of you. I'll give you money, whatever you want. Maybe you can get me a couple of wrestlers. So I said, well, why don't you call me? Here's my phone number at my office. And why don't you give me a call and we'll see what we can do. So he says, see, so... I went and shot the matches that night. I don't know if he went to the matches or not. Shot the matches that night. The next day I get to the office, telephone rings, Herb Abrams on 01, said Natalie, the operator. Picked up the phone. We used to do this, right? And he says, uh, listen, if you get me some wrestlers, I'll get, I own a dress shop. I'll take care of you, whatever you or your girlfriend or your wife wants. You know, it's yours. Just, you know, see if you can get the wrestlers to my shop. So, I don't know, about a week or two later, I was at Sunnyside, I think it was Sunnyside Garden in Queens, and I was talking to Chief J. Strongbow, and I was telling him that um, this guy owns a dress shop. Actually, this was prior to that. It was a couple of days prior to Sunnyside Garden. I said, uh, I called Strongbow, and I said, this guy who owns a dress shop in Queens uh, is looking to get a couple of wrestlers to sign autographs and pictures and in exchange in exchange instead of money he will uh, give your wife anything she'd like from the store any dresses or whatever chief thought it was a great idea he contacted Billy White Wolf and just a few days later actually it was about a week later we were at the store so it was Herb Abrams with Billy White Wolf she got none on KC, but none at that time. And uh, Chief J. Strongbow and me with my, uh, with my, that was my current wife, but who's now my ex-wife, but that doesn't matter anyway. But that was the first shot of him getting close to the wrestlers. And he kept in touch with Strongbow and with White Wolf, and he kept in touch with me. And he kept telling me about these dreams he had. I'm going to start a wrestling federation. I'm going to be better than McMahon, Vince McMahon. I'm going to be better than the WWF. I mean, so do you know how many people I've heard say that? I can't tell you how many people have told me that through the years. I still hear it from people. So uh, as they say, the rest is history. But I did want to let you know that... The first taste of Herb Abrams that where he had actual contact with actual wrestlers was through me. So that's my side of the dark side of Herb Abrams.